So this is one of my saltwater tanks. Actually not that big into saltwater tanks, but this is kind of the first try ever. Um, it's actually a 20 gallon tall tank. Um, it's been around for over two years. You can see there's a lot of snail eggs that have been laid on the screen. I um, actually don't remember what type of snail, um, but I remember buying it from, um, what is it? I think it, it was actually from Petco, and it literally has covered the entire tank with remnants of, um, you know, snail eggs. But, uh, you know, there are live rocks in here, but most of the critters, the stowaways on the live rock were Aptasia. So for folks who don't know, Aptasia is kind of a nuisance um, uh, coral, uh, soft coral. Um, the polyps that you see, uh, they grow like crazy. And normally I've heard that if you get peppermint shrimps, uh, they'll pretty much eat them all up. But I... I haven't really wanted to spend any more money on this tank. Um, I do have two clownfishes in here. They're very shy. Um, not aggressive at all, so there are no um, anemones hosting them, but they are actually a bonded pair, and I've actually seen them lay eggs before, but haven't really had the best of conditions in this tank where they were able to get them to um, hatch or at least have the fry survive after they've hatched. Um, during the summer they were pretty much laying eggs probably every two weeks. So they've been trying uh, and that's only been recently that they've actually um, become bonded uh, and started breeding uh, and so they've been together in this tank for over two years and only within the last probably you know six months where they've actually gotten to the point where they're willing to breed um, and just so you know clownfish is uh, the bigger fish is always going to be the female uh, of the pair so e even if you have two males once uh, one of the fishes gets big enough uh, it'll turn into a female uh, so you know it, it's it is also possible for you to have two, two females uh, you know when you buy from the store but uh, in general you're gonna probably get two males uh, because they start off as males when they when they're um, growing up as smaller fry and then they may sexually mature into a female so uh, in this tank uh, they they get along pretty well each each other uh, there's not too much in here but I also have a, a very high flow on this tank so you can see there's a lot of water movement which Probably is the reason why there's so much aptasia in this tank. Um, and also, as you can see with a lot of these leftover shells, are a home of my dead um, mystery snail shells that I just kind of chuck down here. And they make for great habit hats for these aptasia. Um, so, and there's also a lot of polychaete worms which I hate but they're great tank cleaners and but they seriously creep me out because they look they look really gross but otherwise you can see it's not a, it's not a very spectacular tank and I don't really have any expensive corals in here not that I really really want any corals um, so Maybe in the future, if uh, 
when these guys continue to be a loving couple that they'll finally get um, their own um, fries to hatch and take care of them. So we'll see.